Welcome to the Netherlands. Here I am at the guest house hotel. A mere stone's throw away, never come down a ladder forwards. A mere stone's throw away from the popular Efteling Resort theme park, which is where we'll be heading on this latest adventure. Uh, I do not want to be beheaded. You do? <laughs> what? You said Pardon we me. were going to be experiencing a beheading. Did I? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a I would say budget friendly. It is quite budget friendly. I think for less than a hundred euros, we've got this room, five person room, one, two beds here, very, very tall bunk bed, wouldn't pass UK legislation. And for extra thin people, you can fit one under here, I think as well. You'd have to sort of slide them in. The, uh, microwave. Uh, the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ping, it's ready. Uh, the chair, for, this one's suitable for wide loads as well. Look, it's probably fit. Fit 1.5 of me on here. I presume these are ooh, not as tight as they should be. If this you're a nice. fan this of an nice. IKEA showroom, you will love it here. Yeah, Brown it's wood, it's white it's linen, fake plants. Textured wallpaper. Yes, it's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I think, I think we've exhausted this one now. Yeah, okay, bye. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Efteling. Yeah, that's that's where we are. I'm on the wrong side of the shot and welcome to Efteling. It's like Anton Deck, except the wrong way around. Decadent. Um, very decadent. <gasps> Look. Uh, we're here anyway, Efteling. Um, Katie's never been before. I've not been for it over four years. And look, it's, it's snowed. Snow, it's, it's, cold. it's snowing. It's cold. Look at the sun. Oh wow, this is beautiful weather. We're gonna get some great shots today, guys. Christmas in January. Doesn't get any more magical than this, does it? It's better than Easter in February. Is this a nice rink? Are we allowed to be? <laughs> I think we're in the behind the scenes tree zone. Wow. Imagine if your hip wasn't broken. We could have so much fun on there. You can go. I could push you around with one of those little penguins. Penguins. I could yeah. just be the penguin and I'll just sit down. My god, the bins. Oh. Looks a bit like my brother, doesn't it? <laughs> He's not reacting to my oh, fist. Oh, this must be the broken one. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> so we're in the park. The park's open from 11 till 6. It's now on Monday in January the 15th. Yes. Um, the park's open 11 till 6 for every day we're here, but I'm assuming it's not going to be very busy looking at this. Uh, but we discovered this morning, well, I discovered this morning, Katie probably already knew, because she's the expert on researching this trip. Um, but we got in half an hour earlier as hotel guests, so that's what we've just done. And I think we're going to find a dream flight. Dream flight. Dream, 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 flights for those dream of, flights. Those Englishmen find. Oh, he's closing the door. And that's him locked in there forever. Oh my god! <laughs> I think it's over there. You know more than me about this, and no, you've never, never been. been. <laughs> We many. found it, first ride of the day. Sorry, don't mind me hobbling along in the background. <laughs> it's all slipping. I'm very concerned about slipping. The potatoes are ready. Go on. <laughs> the potatoes are ready. Um, the thing is, if I slip, then we have to spend the rest of our holiday in A&E. So yeah, true. Uh, we don't want to do that. We did get the expensive travel insurance Woo! option for Casey's gummy hit, so that's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Pretty boiling. <laughs> <laughs> <It's exciting. laughs> if anything, it's too warm. I love the fact it's got real water, that's a, a plus 10 points. I can't even tell how that works. That's actually quite convincing, isn't it? Make the other bit of helix. Uh, 
well, it's all going tremendously well. We've just come off of Dreamflucht, please. Dreamflucht, uh, Dreamflight. Dreamflight. It was wonderful. I must have said wow more times than I've ever had in my entire life. It was like to be sat next to John Wardley on his first ride on Nemesis, to put it that <laughs> wow, way. Wow, wow. Exclusively, I usually yeah. like um, a really niche market of really terrible dark rides. <laughs> so to go on a good dark ride is... What a surprise. It's amazing. <laughs> Don't worry, the Carnival Festival is here. That'll go. <laughs> That'll bring you back down to Brilliant. your, your normal standard. Look, uh, here we are at a carousel. I think we push this one around ourselves. Ready? Hold tight, everyone. Oh no, for where? I now exclusively hold tight rider. Ah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Ooh. Whoa! It's now operator now. Um, I will get off now. Right. Brilliant. Can you uh, hold this? Yep. Careful okay. dismounting. You can get to. Oh, careful. <laughs> this is what we have to deal with here. Um, look how close you can get to this like, an open... Oh, God. Can you say that again for the purpose of the film? So, look how close you can get to this enormous large body of water. That is a large body of water, if ever I've seen one. How should I stand? Just like that, that's cool. Yeah, lovely. Let me get just a wide shot with the train. Oh, lovely. Would you like to tell them... Where you are. Oh, is it a video? I'm on the train, just driving at the moment. Choo choo. Well, the weather outside is frightful. And it's not feeling very delightful. Welcome to the rain. Yes, I think we're going to have to go on some indoor rides. That's a flap. Oh, look at that. What have you got there? Um, something that's going to really trigger my lactose intolerance. <laughs> What's underneath all of the uh, the cream? Hot chocomel. Hot chocomel? Yes. And we have a cinnamon hot warm bun. Warm bun. Cappuccino. Boring. From a nicely themed cafe. Welcome. Welcome. Bienvenue. Symbolica. Um, we did the music tour, which was the green one, and it was wonderful actually. Can you explain um, to uh, people who have no idea what you're talking about? What is the music tour? And are so there, are there are three different tours. Um, basically, so there's a few rooms that are the same, um, and then there's a portion of the ride where it splits off into three. So there is music, treasures, and heroes. Um, we did the music one this time. I have heard online that the Treasures one, the red one, is the best. Um, so we're gonna have to do all three to find out. But the green one, the music one, was very fun. Um, there's a few interactive sections, and then the big grand scenes. It's a trackless dark ride. It's uh, things like um, <laughs> Remy's Ratatouille, <laughs> Remy's Ratatouille, uh, Remy's Ratatouille adventure, and the Beat and Beast ride at Tokyo Disney. Is it Tokyo or Japan? I'm not sure actually. Uh, one of them the overseas Disney parks has one quite similar. Suddenly gone very dark and it's snowing again. Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> oh wow, you're a snowball. I'm a snowball. Good time to show everyone your new gloves. I got some new gloves. Are they pretty... branded? Oh wow, wow, from the Efteling. That's where we are now. From the Efteling. They're bright pink. There was also a matching pair of muffs. <laughs> So they did have a crown attached to them. And I'm not feeling very regal today. Not very regal. And this person ahead of us has an Efteling themed umbrella. That's pretty cool. Couldn't find that one in the shop. Um, so we've left the shop and now we're going to Fata Morgana. Fat Morgan. Fat Morgan. Ooh, a bit slippy. And 
that's Fata Morgana, which Katie absolutely <laughs> despised. <laughs> you, I've never seen you jump so much. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know what's wrong with me. That was horrendous. <laughs> like, really bad. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's very well themed, but... It was quite creepy, why, actually. Why I think it it's so more neat? creepy when there's no one else on it. Yeah, I didn't that's like it. Better get out now. Poor oh, favourite ride of yours, that one was, wasn't it? No, um, no, thank you. It was worse than the Curse of Autumn Manor. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> We're trying to find the entrance to Max and Moritz. Uh, two power coasters went here when I last came. It was a toboggan um, bobsled coaster when I last came. Fun fact. Yeah, chips and mayonnaise in that store. Uh, mayonnaise is a big mayonnaise. thing over here in the Netherlands, which is wonderful. Because I'm a big fan. You are a big fan. Max and, Max and Moritz. There we go. So this will be a new ride for everyone, all two of us. and Moritz, I, I was concerned for Casey's welfare so I went on a test ride first and discovered it was the smoothest roller coaster in the history of the world. Oh, so she had a go. Yeah, uh, it was really? great. Yeah, it was great fun actually. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. We did both of them, uh, Max and Moritz. I think they're very similar, just inverted. Inverted uh, like Nemesis. Like Nemesis. Um, and then you come out of that and come straight to the, the wall of meat. The Basically, choose which one you want, and your card against there, and you open the box. I've got a chicken snap. And I've got the has. vegan spring roll, the only vegan option. Yeah, so oh, what a novelty. We'll give these a go now. Would you like to have a bite for the movie film? Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be edited by many men. Mmm, mm, we're good. good. Currently between two and three degrees Celsius, snow on the track. And Baron is running uh, as though it's the middle of summer. Very impressive. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. What time do you reckon these boats open? Um, probably in March. <laughs> in March. <laughs> The sun has now come back out, glorious. They were now in the sort of coaster area. That's the Python. Should be open today, but it doesn't look like it is at the moment. I'm not sure whether it's weather related. We'll find out shortly. And Katie has found. Oh, she's found a talking bin. Uh, like didn't like that rubbish, did he? Uh, yeah, all good. So, uh, Juris and the Drac, the wooden coaster, is closed for winter maintenance. Uh, that was advertised to be so. So is the Flying Dutchman water coaster, which I'm very sad about because that's like one of my favourite rides ever. I've never seen it without the water. They've drained the lake. So there's the track, which is super wide. And uh, it runs on an underwater train lift. 
throughout the underwater section, which is very interesting and unusual. And here's another angle of the Flying Dutchman Avec No Water. Track looking thick and beefy. Did not realise that the rails in the underwater section were square, um, a la RMC, and the underwater chain lift visible. Very interesting. Chestnuts roasting by an open fire. That's and just nibbling at your, at your gas lamp. Gas lamp. Nice and warm here. It's right. suddenly gone dark in, which is weird because that shot I just filmed of um, Python with the sun blazing was literally Nine five seven. seconds ago. Like, yeah, not five, five seconds. It was somewhere between <laughs> five seconds and six Ten. days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something honking around down there. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Uh, yes, I waited three minutes for this ride. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so sick. Literally getting pelted by snow. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Makeup check. Oh, you've got it a bit is. of snow on your face there. Just been on the world's biggest oh, pirate ship. Snow. I don't know whether that's actually true. I'm sure it holds some kind of record for being the biggest something, isn't it? It was ridiculous. And I it loved snowed it. a lot. It's um, heavily snowing and we are moving in the direction of snow. So it's like being in a snowstorm. You need some huskies to be like, <sighs> onwards and upwards. <laughs> Let's go. Up we go. Oh! Christmassy themed area. Looks very nice. Here he goes. Oh, there's you. Well, it's snowing again. Five o'clock now, quarter past five in the afternoon. We haven't filmed anything for a while because we've uh, just sort of had a walk around. It snowed sort of unpleasantly for a bit and was very cold. Day in the park is drawing to a close and we've got another snack. To add to our list of another thousand things we've eaten today. Um, but we really wanted to get one of these. I've never had one uh, and I see them everywhere, but I didn't realise they were as crispy as they are and they're amazing. It's like a big hot crisp, isn't it, basically? Yeah, I love carbs. Spiral potato. Thin. Pretty Good. tasty. This is the Efteling app. I will cover this in case you can work out any of our personal details from it. Uh, but it has your overnight stay details on. If you press on digital key, as Katie will now do, this is how you open your hotel room. Um, so you literally open this on your phone, put it anywhere near the hotel room, it opens the door, which is really exciting. So this is the room, the com comfort room, three person. I think it's a three, is it a three person? Can you sleep someone on there? Potentially, I mean, I could sleep on there if we fall out. Lovely themed mirror here. Um, With wings on. Wings. There's a little mouse in the corner. The television. Here's the cat that will catch the mouse. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Uh, nice size room. Oh, show the bins. Which the We've bins. got bins, yeah. These boots here are 
Also bins. If you open the wardrobe, there's another bit of Easter eggs. And the red shoes in the wardrobe. Safe and a refrigerator. And the bathroom. It's got some lovely gold hardware, hardware everywhere, which looks really nice. I do like that. Lovely bit of theming on the mirror as well. Like if you look in the mirror, uh, this yes. is written backwards. And, and then, then if you look in the mirror, it's written forwards. Obviously, we can't read what it says. But if any of uh, my Dutch viewers know. <laughs> Please let us know what let it means. It's clean, it's fresh, it's fun. It does have a handprint of oh. someone else's hand on the headboard above the above the um, yeah, pillow. So who knows what the last occupants were doing in here? Um, I think we do. This is the bar in the Efteling Hotel. Efteling Hotel. Got, uh, fun theme. It's all very coherent. You have these lovely gothic chandeliers with some ceiling tiles from the little chef. <laughs> And the sport <laughs> on the telly. <laughs> make sure you have to glass. Make sure I show you have to glass. Good morning. It's day yeah. two today. And we are indeed wearing the same clothes for enhanced editing capabilities of the vlog. Except for I've changed everything about my appearance. Oh, God, so. yes, yes, I did notice. You look dashing today. All those things you've changed, just remind me what I they are. I put my eyebrows back on. Oh, yes. And I've tied my hair up today. Yes, yes. It's minus one degree today. Colder than yesterday, cold. actually. But it is meant to be dry today. Meant to. The hotel was very nice. We slept extremely well. Yes. The heating uh, did work in this hotel. It was too which was hot, nice. in fact. Yeah, I had to take my pyjamas off. Uh, so... <laughs> Don't worry, it was dark. You now, I had to see it. Hey. Uh. Anyway, they only have four toes in the Netherlands. We are going to do the Fairy Tale Forest today, as previously discussed. Um, and just have a few hours in there. Dan wants to get himself on to Baron. Um, I won't be risking that one with my state of affairs. You're um, having an affair? Yep, yeah, and then for a late lunch slash early tea, we're going to head to the Pancake House next to Symbolica and have some lovely pancakes. This is the med medical centre at Efteling. You can tell it's the medical centre because there is a leg hanging outside of it. One to bear in mind. It's beautiful. Choo choo. Are we on the locomotive now? We're on the local locomotive. Charlie Minogue's not here though. <laughs> Wowie. Across our first ever fairy tale, um, the tale of the two drops and the giant mushroom. Is that what this one's called? Is it? Here we are. We have a stoop waffle. Stoop waffle. For right now. For the bin. For right now. For right now. You look like Jim when he's interacting with Wilson the dog. <laughs> We've come across a great problem with the fairy tale forest, which is that Katie is uh, apparently terrified of any kind of waxwork behind the glass. Um, and they're all behind glass, so. So I can't go more than two meters towards them.
So you work at a theme park, right? Uh, yes. What would you do? What hand signal do you do to dispatch a ride? Ah, <laughs> oh, you must work at a theme park too. <laughs> Now we're watching some shoes dance around on a tabletop. Welcome to Hold Tight Riders, the best YouTube channel on the whole world. Even he's not going to say that. Welcome to Hold Tight Riders, the best YouTube channel on the whole world. Goats, goats wearing coats. Goats wearing dresses, goats wearing sh The magical pooing donkey that poos coins. Oh right, we've just contactlessly paid 50 cents for the donkey to... <laughs> oh, it's just landed on me. <laughs> so that donkey just pooed this into my face. Oh, that is just... So this is really cool. You can buy all these figures. I'll zoom in on a couple. All from the Efteling Fairytale Forest, oh. as well as these little things. <laughs> Got a long neck whose neck is working. There he goes. That's amazing. This, for example, is 200 euros. It moves and sings. Uh, and then you've got the bin, which also makes a noise, so it probably says Papier here. We're on the monorail at height, according to the Efteling app. Something to do with fairy tales, I think. It's lovely. I feel very at home on this one. <laughs> I would like to point out there is no disabled access on this one, so Dan had to carry me up the stairs. How embarrassing. Yeah, so I'm not sure how we're going to get off. Uh, I'm all pooped out. I'm not going to be able to carry you down as well. <laughs> oh. No, you've stopped. working. Pretty good. Has it got a transfer? Oh, it's down there. Wow. Is it a vertical? Sorry. Excited. <laughs> Must be a vertical transfer track. Wow, gorgeous, Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no river wide enough, ain't no river wide enough. Oh, <laughs> ow. Pauwgelijk. Die ene vervloekte avond in de Belgische Kempen. Hello. We're in Villa Volta, the world's first for Kempen Lighthouse. Front or back. Half two, sun's still out, snow's, snow's still sort of around, still looks amazing. Wow, that's a great shot. I've never polished at work. <laughs> So this is really cool. Normally there's a massive uh, 3D bird here, but they're doing maintenance on it. So they've put a big scaffolding screen with a, uh, a picture of the bird on, which is good effort considering it's not the real thing. Don't yeah, you agree? Yeah, impressive. Very impressive. But, um, and the boats are moving now. Yeah, I wonder whether we can go on those boats. No one on them, isn't there? But if so, that would be a lovely ride through that icy lake.
Welcome back to the vlog of things that have just happened. I've just been on Baron 1898, or as Sean Tabrick would say, Baron Akanakanakan. And, and I had a hot chocolate. Lovely. And uh, it was a brilliant ride. Uh, probably not suitable for a Katie. And here is the water coaster. Wow. Not open, of course. Just a quick update since yesterday when I said I didn't know what this bit was for. It's the chain return. Not sure if you can see it, the chain returns under here and back around. Wow, wow, we were. Do a big spin. Oh, magical! Wow, it's wow. So magical. <laughs> I'm smiling. Oh. <laughs> Hold on to your nuptials. <laughs> We're on the vintage cars ride. I don't know anything about this one. I've not been on it. You've not been on it. I've not been on it. It's no. cold. We're in the front seats. Very cramped in. The horns do function. It's great to hear. And I've also just been on the Python roller coaster, which was extremely cold. Um, it was alright, quite smooth. Did you want to tell the viewers what you've been drinking? I had a cup of tea while Dan was on the Python ride. Was, it, was, good, nice. was it a good tea? Yes, it was a British. A British English tea. Come all, all the way to the Netherlands and have a British tea. Love it. A few more snacks for you. We're near Max and Moritz at what was the snack wall yesterday, but now we're indoors. Got chips. Some no. onions. We didn't know what we were ordering, but it mm, ended up being some onions. I thought it because there was a sauce option, and that was one of them. Um, so, and it didn't have any price by it, so we thought that meant no sauce. But obviously, it means a fried couple of onions. Three onions. I've got a spicy meat snack. Casey's spring got a spring roll, and we've got some hair tog beer. One lake. Hello. <laughs> so we finally made it on this boat ride, which has been frosted over. We've been <laughs> swallowed. Swallowed. What? We're being followed by a swan. <laughs> he's gaining on us. Oh, he's actually going to come in. Got some ice. Yummy, yummy. I try and knock it towards him. Yay! Oh my gosh. I'd like to show you the Jesus duck. So these ducks here are swimming in the water. You can see their legs are clearly under the water. This one, however. Can't quite get it. Look, he's not on ice. The ice is there. He's, he's Jesus duck, walking on water. These ones are jealous. Hello, I'm a
we're in Paul's Kitchen or Paul's Kitchen now, which is a pancake place. Pancakes. Uh, would you like to tell us what you've ordered and what sort of things you can buy in the pancake place? Yes, so that you can either have a sweet or a savoury pancake. We both opted for a savoury one just because I've just had that hot chocolate and I feel slightly sick. <laughs> Chicken kebab with green stuff. Um, I think it's just mushroom and onion. Mushroom and onion. That was. It was very quick, like five minutes, if that. What was your favourite vegetarian one? I think that it was. It was slightly more expensive. It was part of the with, with, the winter refilling, uh, one of the food stamps, and it was basically like a vegetarian sausage um, in like a I don't know, like a batter. Was it a batter or like a? It was more of a bread. A bread. But honourable mention is a spring roll out of the snack wall. That was lovely. So that was our experience in the Efteling. Did you prefer it to Disneyland Paris? How does it rate? You've never been before, obviously, so... It's a very different vibe. Um, I still love Disneyland with all my heart, but in terms of theming and just general impressiveness, I think Efteling does take take the Stroop Waffle. Ah. Um, like, having so many um, rides based off their own, like, storylines and everything is amazing. Like, there's barely any IPs in that park and I love that. Um, yeah, and the fairy tale forest is very impressive and it's definitely worth going just for that and I really enjoyed it. So would I say it's better than Disneyland? If you're a theme park fan, yes, but if you just love Disney, then no. <laughs> that was, kind of that was a very general answer. answer. I've ticked yeah. all the boxes there, thank you. Have you have ticked all Yes. I had a very lovely time. That's a bit weird to see you. Oh, yeah, me too. Best time of my life. Fantastic. Right, uh, I'm going to end this here now because it's getting dark and we're driving and it's very scary on the wrong yes, side I of the road. Yes, I am concentrating on the road. So, thank you for watching our video. Hold tight, riders. Hold tight. Here we go.